So here we are again for the second little demo of the Schlob VCF3DB, which is a fixed filter bank with a lot of um, feedback features. Um, and so um, this demonstration is processing an oscillator. So for the input, I am coming out of this oscillator here, which we're seeing at the green trace on the data. It's it's a sawtooth wave, or a ramp wave, rather. It's going up and down. And the output of the F3DB is shown on the bottom. Now, I haven't turned up the volume yet, but you'll hear it in a minute. The settings here are everything is on. All of the um, sliders are all the way up, so everything, all the bands are on. And all the knobs are turned all the way down. So one point to be made here is basically... When your gain knob doesn't go to zero, it basically starts off at about roughly unity gain, maybe a little more, and then goes up from there. So you can have a lot of drive. The other point I want to make is I, for this demonstration, I'm going to input two because I will be demonstrating what happens when you use uh, gain feedback and output comes out of input one. So basically the gain control impacts both input one and two equally. So we can use that as a gain control in this case too. As the gain control happens after these mix together. So I'm gonna turn this up and then I'm gonna play with the sliders a little bit so you can hear how it's uh, how it's filtering the different bands. And remember, these are voltage controllable too, the level in each band. And also remember that the if you see any activity in the lights, it indicates the energy in that band. Not It's not indicating the output level. See, if I turn one of these all the way down, these, li these lights don't change because I have it jumpered so it's measuring the energy in that band. So here we go. You'll see when I lower the uh, uh, the low the low pass filter, you see that most of the energy here is in the fundamental, which is pretty low, and so that's where the, most of the gain is. Next thing I'll do is I'll add some feedback by bringing up the feedback pot. try adding the gain feedback. 
So we have to put this switch up and start raising the gain feedback. And we notice that it doesn't do too much till it gets farther over. We have to increase the gain. Now I'm going to bring in the uh, feedback from the feedback from the output back to the input. Now here's something interesting. Let's look at what's coming out of input one. It's a very large square wave or pulse wave. turned everything down except for gain feedback it's all the way down but the switch is on and the output looks very much like the input here until we turn these up something out here as I decrease the 7k band I get more energy in some of the lower bands which is interesting Output of the the output of the odd mix. Now the even mix. You can 
can see that the gain out of input one is pretty much proportional to this, the setting of the gain feedback. So as this is increased, it's really gonna get big. You can see there's a sort of a sub oscillator um, effect that you can get here when you're using the gain feedback to process an external oscillator. final demonstration I'm going to plug a few of these LFOs which are all positive going uh, into the CV inputs here and when you plug something into the CV input the slider becomes an attenuator for the CV input so we'll see here it doesn't change the energy in the band coming in but it will change our output quite a bit For the last thing, I'll show you what the soft and hard clipping do. That's the soft clipping.
is my demonstration. There'll be more explanation uh, on pugix.com.